Hello friends and welcome to the Holland America Eurodam. Today we're going to take an entire ship tour, show you what this vessel offers for your cruise vacation up down cruise horn. <laughs> it keeps going. That means it's time to get this tour started. It also means that we're in some incredible fog right now as we're cruising. But you know what? Let's go on and get this tour started here and we will start top to bottom, forward to aft, take you all around deck by deck, showing you some of the hidden spots, some places that I really enjoyed hanging out during this cruise. Let's get started right now. Now we are taking you midship, heading on up. Hello, there's me, but there's a little look at those scenic elevators. Observation. As you have the scenic elevators on the side of the ship, and these are the special elevators along with these other midship elevators. These elevator shafts along with the scenic ones on the end are where you want to go to get to this special place on deck 11 midship. No other elevators will take you there. But Tamarin, so we have the bar on the one side, which I feel like is such a hidden gem. First up is that the drinks in on this menu are really, really good and they're fun. So if you want to try something perhaps a little different that you can't get on other bars i feel like this is so gorgeous and the sun is beaming through i hope you can see how lovely this spot is a hidden gem because if you want to just enjoy some uh, wildlife spotting and watching or just hanging out here it's a really nice spot maybe to just grab a book you know throughout the day and hang out in because we have these views from each side of the ship I should have popped up here during Glacier Bay to see how crowded it was, to see how much of a secret it really was, if folks had found it. Uh, but I forgot. So I assume that people made it up here, but it would be a good spot to, to catch since you are warm and enjoying here. But you can pop from both sides too. So especially for wildlife, if you're looking to you know enjoy both sides of the ship, it's pretty cool. Now we're going to walk across here now. So the bar is separated from the restaurant here. And on this side, we'll show you. So we have the Nami sushi to the one side, which I enjoyed. Uh, lots of yummy rolls as well. So here we have the sushi and they make it right here as well. And then we have the dessert station on this side and then more seating. So for the restaurant, for if you're not having the sushi, if you're just having the tamarind dinner, you'll be seated on either one of the sides of the restaurant and that's where you can enjoy. I really enjoyed the curry when I dined here and everything's honestly very good. And a little pro tip, if you're ever looking to enjoy some of the specialty restaurants, I always recommend that you go ahead and make those reservations uh, before your cruise, which you can do so online through the app, but also you can look into doing a reservation on the very first night of the cruise. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit chaotic just because you feel like you're still catching your breath from getting on board, but I always find that it is, you know, great service always but it's always like you're getting a little bit extra spoiled because not as many other people are in the restaurant so you kind of feel like you have the whole place to yourself sometimes so that's what i always enjoy worth noting that we do have the sports court here basketball along with tennis up on the top deck here and normally without the fog, you're having great views, looking out into the ocean. You're also kind of seeing down into the sea view pool down below here, but it's all caged in so you don't have to lose any of the balls and equipment. And they're all kind of located in the little chairs right there. And we've made it to the crow's nest. So this is basically the activities area up here on deck 11, the observation deck. What is kind of fun is you can actually see some of the paintings that other cruisers made throughout the cruise here. So this is one of the activities. You can see all the little paint 
palettes there and then one of the activities that they made on the seed day you can also find other activities like the origami making as well so kind of cool you can hang out here and do those guided experiences but the crow's nest is special then we will be able to hear the sound of white thunder the sound of that ice crashing down mm. into the water as it falls off the face of the currently picture. in the crow's nest about to try the split as we're sitting here, soup it's we have the impossible to predict announcements where we'll try the soup glacial calving will happen there are so many glacial calving is happening as well so we'll enjoy the soup and keep looking out the window if you're wanting to make sure you catch some so of that glacial good. calving, if we're able to see any, what a special the best treat! Is Only on to keep your eyes on the glacier as much soup. as possible. I enjoy coming up here for a cup of coffee. They have some of the specialty coffees along with uh, some nice Alaskan favorites with uh, spiked drinks inside. Tasty to kind of enjoy a hot, warm beverage. But up here you have puzzles and games. This really becomes a spot to hang out, especially during the scenic cruises and scenic days of your cruise. So for example, during Glacier Bay, this area of the ship was particularly popping, very crowded, very people much hanging out and enjoying the scenery. We actually had our park rangers up here as well with their pop-up gift shop the rangers answering questions and then of course the narrated uh, description of the scenic cruising was piped in through here the rest of the ship and also in your stateroom cabin but really comfortable seating as you can see these couches a great spot to hang out and enjoy and then of course all the games that uh, you can play here as well so i like hanging out here for sure and then hanging uh to a left, we have the shore excursion desk. Now the thing with the shore excursion desk, if you didn't figure out all of your shore excursions before you get on board, you gonna wanna make sure that you check out those hours of operation. So that way you can ask those questions and figure it out. If you have other questions about your excursions, you can always watch the TVs because they have a lot of different shows on your TV once you get on board to talk about the different things in case you're needing a last minute idea popped on downstairs and we have the retreat. So this is a space that can be really nice if you are in wanting to rent out a cabana for your cruise. You can check out these cabanas. For our cruise, we were told that they were about $400 for one of the end ones, which is just a smidge larger. And that was the price for our cruise, but of course it changes depending on the length of your cruise and where you're sailing to. But they're kind of setting it up right now with the towels and getting it ready for the day here with the coffee and for folks to hang out on our sea day here. And you can see kind of the general scope of the ship, which I like to show you as well. So this is the retractable roof of the pool. And down below it's the jacuzzis, the pool, and all of this retractable roof will move throughout the cruise. So if you have a nice day of weather, you can see that, or you can see it uh, open or closed, depending. But let's go on and show you a little bit more, but here's some of the open deck spaces. So here on deck 10, midship is the loft. So welcome to the high score, kind of neat. So inside there's arcade games, foosball, air hockey, bag toss. Oh, I'm gonna try the bag toss, that sounds fun. This is so cool. So this is open certain times of the day for just the teenagers and tweens and other times it's open for the adults. How cool is this? So many unique, oh my gosh, I wanna play. <laughs> I love that. A giant foosball, my gosh, looks like four, even six people can play. Amazing. Video arcade, bag toss. Ooh, first to win 500. And we have a ski ball, air hockey, free play. Oh my God, how fun. I'm gonna play. Is this not like the biggest hidden secret ever? This is all free. <sighs> So cool. I want to play some more. 
Now, since we took a look at the upstairs of the pool from the retractable roof, I figured let's pop on down and show you what it looks like from the inside. So you can see the retractable roof is always uh, already closed right now, but you have the chairs. So right now we have some blankets to uh, keep us cozy and cuddle on up. No towels right now, as again, this is a cold weather cruise. But we have the ping pong tables over here to enjoy, the jacuzzis in the center, and the pool. So they did have some activities like a polar bear plunge for us to enjoy in. And folks actually did use the pool throughout our cruise. We also have uh, these blankets to keep us warm throughout. Oh, these actually are towels. My mistake, these are towels. And that's the blankets are the checkered ones. So now we have uh, tables because we can enjoy some of the dive in as well, which is on the other side over here, which is hot dogs, hamburgers, and French fries. I've actually had the dive in twice during the cruise. Uh, maybe we'll have it again today. And it's very good. I enjoy the burgers and the loaded fries as well. So that's where you'll find that more table space and then we have the Lido bar which means guess what we're coming on over to the Lido so which is really cool this beer is Holland America's beer here so HAL Holland America line sailing 50 150 years and then some Alaska brews that are available as well for local to our sailing now we've made it into the Lido market, but what we're actually looking at is Canaletto, which I will be enjoying this evening in this restaurant here. So it's interesting because it's actually part of the buffet, but the chairs are different and these panelings section it off. But when it's not that time of the uh, dining service of the evening, you can, you can eat here. So it's kind of like, a hybrid part of the buffet which is a little bit interesting so what is available for you to do with your cruise fare is your coffees your teas water lemonade and you know what let's grab a coffee let's show you a bit of the breakfast spread here so we have let's see muffins and waffles some sweet treats they do serve you on this cruise this is all the toppings a little crepe station good morning and some fresh fruit here so I think I have to have a crepe today what's helpful as well is to look at these menus here didn't notice this right at first but they also have more things that you might not see right away on those menus which is cool sometimes there's a lot of things are tucked back so you might not notice it so it's helpful to look at these menus because you might not know that you can get marshmallow cream on those uh, toppings <laughs> This is actually one of my favorites is the little yogurt station here with the granola. I like this. And then all of your juices you are able to grab here along with the milk. And they do have the variety of different type of almonds and lactose free milk, which is great. Lots of traditional breakfast items with your sausage, your bacon, hash browns. Yummy, yummy. From the griddle, another look at the menu itself here. And then the fresh fruit, and then cheese and meats and breads, and then more croissants and muffins. So what's cool is this section of the buffet here is an omelet station in the morning but is actually the salad station in the evening and during lunch here. So you can get all of your omelets made to order here and two people working, which is great because you can get your omelets really quick. There's no line, that's amazing. Now we've made it outside to the Sivu pool just by walking straight past through the Lido. So to our side here, we have the smoking section. So if that is applicable to you, that's where you're going to want to hang out uh, to smoke. That's the designated area. But out here we have lots of seating. So if the weather is fair, you can enjoy your meal out here. But this is where you will also find the Sea View Bar. And this is a spot where you might grab a drink during sail away and enjoy hanging out in the aft of the deck here, sailing away from your city. But 
This is where we have New York pizza. I have to say, on our colder weather cruise here, this is one of those spots that I didn't actually find myself enjoying that much pizza on this cruise because we do have to walk outside into the elements, but we do have the ability to build your own pizza here and make it uh, to order. Throughout the day though, we saw that this is actually open and they have slices ready for us to go. So that's always convenient and uh, available. It just was something that I didn't always wanna walk outside to grab just because I was afraid to freeze. But actually it's nice out right now and it was nice out during sail away too. So for you to know, otherwise you might be wondering, hey, there's supposed to be a pizza shop. Where is it? Uh, but lots of space as well when the loungers are all lined up uh, along with uh, dancing and swimming out here. Now we're right in the heart of the ship here and take a look at this little beautiful little huh, it's quite large actually this large uh, chandelier and centerpiece here as we look on down so currently on deck three looking down on de deck two and deck one so right now we're in the ocean bar and right now there's a tai chi class happening so we'll give them their space so that they can enjoy that class but really kind of cool some of the programming that happenings on board here and here in this bar, lots of seating, lots of areas to kind of hang out and find your nook in the ocean bar. And of course, views on both sides of the ship of the ocean. So, you know, properly named. And you're looking out onto the promenade as we're on the promenade deck, which you can walk all around and get your steps in. Actually, later today, I will be participating in the uh, Steps for a Cause where they have your donations that participated in this 5k and you'll get to participate and have that go to Alaska Parks as the donation. So I've never participated in this on HAL before so I'm really actually looking forward to this uh, walking activity. Now we're walking through right now actually the photo gallery. So they do print all of your photos so the paneling will open up and they have all of your photos from the experiences from the different gangways and the different locations, the main dining room, for the characters, from the parties, all of those will be popped up here in the Wonder Photo Shop. Now we have the dining room on board here. So this is actually two different floors for the dining room. I've enjoyed high tea actually in the dining room along with a brunch looking forward to actually doing that again today brunch was fantastic especially the alaskan brunch so i cannot wait to do that for the second time and then of course dinner in the mdr here so we have the two different sections here actually we have some cool areas over here that have you know you're in the center and this is where you can enjoy all of the fresh seafood if you're sailing on Alaska that's certified fresh here but the menu changes every night if you're not familiar so no matter what dining time you have if you're dining early or late or the anytime that you choose to drop in you can uh, experience the same food doesn't matter where you're seated throughout but you'll have the same food which will just rotate throughout the days of the cruise so now we have the shops. So the shops are always open when you are at sea. So you will see these gates open on up and you can see all the different type of merchandise. Of course, there's really kind of special fun merchandise depending on where you're sailing to. So we're seeing a ton of Alaska gear, which I love a lot of things that I want to take home, especially if you uh, have some time and to not as much time to shop in ports and you want to grab uh, some last minute gifts you can do so here and other things that you forget as well of course they have the fine jewelry Effie as well other uh, fine jewelry for you here as well Alex marks the spot so we'll keep on walking and moving out of the shops though we have 
more luxury collection for jewelry, but then we also have some meeting spaces. So depending if you are on board with a group, perhaps you might find yourself popping into some of the meeting spaces, or if you are attending mass, which is actually happening right now inside. So we definitely will not be disturbing, but uh, mass is held throughout the cruise as well. And then there's the library, which we can pop in there to show you. And now I'm highly, highly impressed by how large the library is here. So they have different sections from mystery, young adult, nonfiction, poetry, actually like very popular books that I've heard about before as well. So you can enjoy, uh, you know, borrowing some of these books throughout your cruise, which is amazing. Just look, they're like, modern popular books amazing amazing that to see these and you will just have to return it by the end of the cruise and you can enjoy sitting here and reading them as well and they also have a section over here if you wanted to keep it perhaps you have a different book that you haven't finished by the end of your cruise or one you brought from home and you want to leave behind they have the book exchange so take one book leave one book here and these are not property of the cruise line. So absolutely love that. I think that really fun to kind of get lost in a book while you're at sea and enjoy some vacay. Welcome to the main stage. Now this is the theater on board, which I've hung out in and enjoyed numerous talks throughout the cruise and of course enjoyed the nighttime evening entertainment in here. So couple things the chairs are so comfortable look at how plush these are found that great and then all of the lighting here is actually really helpful these are constantly led lights displaying on the carpet especially when you come in a couple minutes late you don't want to fall down the stairs i found that really helpful i've never really seen that before on other ships so i thought that was pretty cool but we have the different talks throughout the day the educational type of like seminars especially for where we're going so we can learn about our destinations but we also had the nighttime entertainment and i actually saw one of my favorite shows humanity on uh this stage right here the main stage and absolutely fantastic believe it or not i saw it one and a half times so it plays twice on the same evening throughout your cruise so if you happen to have humanity make sure you go see it i love that one and the other show was fantastic as well the dance team is great, highly entertaining. Later today, we'll also see Deal or No Deal in the main stage. So I'm looking forward to seeing that, but we have the cashier for the casino. So of course, casinos are only open when we're at sea. This will open a little bit later today since we are at sea, but lots of tables. And kind of interestingly is that the casino is right next to billboard on board so if you are gambling at any of these tables or slots that are uh, very next to it you can enjoy some live music from george and lena on our cruise they're fantastic they play the piano nearly every single night for hours different times throughout the night it'll be like 7 15 8 15 9 15 different sessions they have request shows they have different themed shows for icons in the country but you can hang out here grab a drink at the bar the very helpful wait staff comes around and you can just do these sing-alongs so much fun actually really really enjoyed hanging out here they're a great duo and this is always a full house so if you're looking to hang out it's a it's a great spot. I find that because it is a little bit of a highway in a sense too, with walking on uh, this deck two, the seats get uh, taken rather quickly. So if you're looking to grab one of these upfront seats up front in the action, maybe come a few minutes early. Walking on down deck two, we have some low windows. This is kind of a fun spot just to see like how close you are to the ocean. Right now it's a little like foggy, so it's a little bit hard to see somewhat of the ocean, but we're low to the ocean, we feel close to it. And I just wanted to point that out because I feel like it's kind of cool as one of those halls and areas that you walk a lot and you get to see, you know, how nice this is. This is actually one of those meeting spots if you do excursions. It's right here outside of BB King's. 
to come and meet here if you do any excursions or throughout the rest of the ship that they have noted but i happen to have this spot as a meeting spot they have the bar here as well actually enjoyed parties here along with regular evening entertainment every night in bb kings with the live musicians along with the orange party and we even had the comedian one night in this space as well so lots of times found myself hanging out here as well learned how to use my binoculars here with emrin the wildlife expert as well so multi-use functions for these venues here and loads of live music though throughout the ship now we've made it to the pinnacle bar so this bar here is kind of cool because we have not only ocean views but we have a spot where you can get your specialty coffees your alcoholic beverages but you can have some nice options Ooh, a chai tea latte looks like it has some of those different warm beverages uh, here than from what I was up in the crow's nest but then they also have all their classes for the mixology classes the Rhine classes signature Eurodam bar hop that's pretty cool so spot for you to hang out enjoy a beverage and of course it's across from the pinnacle grill makes sense pinnacle bar right next to the pinnacle grill what's kind of cool about the pinnacle grill is that they're actually serving breakfast here early in the day on our sea day prior to the sea day brunch opening so that is why you see lots of folks in here right now enjoying the regular breakfast and what's cool about this restaurant is it is holland's signature steakhouse so if you dine in here you can enjoy some really nice fillets so we have all the seating over on this side and what i really enjoyed about this restaurant is the clothesline bacon some fun yummy appetizers that were tasty but a must i think this is a very popular one within holland america for folks to try so you can guess the weight of the cat or any of the artworks to win some prizes or perhaps attend some of the art auctions because this is the art gallery so if that's something that interests you they have lots of different silent art auctions or grand finale art auctions all throughout your cruise that you can uh, attend learn about the art get interested and place some bids and take it on home with you so here in this venue, you can see that we have uh, the piano and all of the chairs set up here. This was one of those venues that I also saw as a multi-purpose. Fun for people to just to kind of hang out and enjoy this space, see some of the wildlife from the warm indoors. I did not actually see the piano uh, being played here or any of the other live string quartets on this cruise, but we did see this having some of the Alaska talks here as well with the uh, Meet Your Wildlife uh, expert as well. And then we have some open uh, space here as well. The chairs aren't normally flipped around like this. They're, they were vacuuming, so that's why the chairs flipped around. Uh, but another venue and kind of meeting space, if you will, to hang out and just enjoy lots of open areas and public spaces for us guests to find and be comfortable in. Now, one of the cool things about Holland is that they actually put these luggage scales out that identify, oh my gosh, it's the last day of your cruise. So you can weigh your luggage before you get to the airport and know how many souvenirs you bought and if your bag might be overweight. So I think that's always a fun perk. And then you might hear some other guests joking about, I'm going to step on that, or I definitely won't step on that because I I don't want to see how much your weight has changed at the end of the cruise but here on deck one is where we have guest services along with the max cruise desk on the other side as well so we have a nice little lounge space we're looking up on to deck two and deck three with the color changing centerpiece in there up there rather we have your shopping ambassador desk here and then the shore excursions in this grand atrium here so guest services is where you can ask all your questions if you have any issues and then always recommend you can check your uh, folio and your statement here and have them printed or you can check it also in holland america's app 
Well, friends, that does it for this ship tour. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this playlist right here for even more on board the Eurodam. Room tours, my entire review, and learning about what we experienced on our Alaskan cruise. You can check that out right here. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, ciao for now.